Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the Super Impulse booth at New York Toy Fair 2020. And right here we are looking at the world's smallest Masters of the Universe action figures. So this is part of their world's smallest action figures lineup. They've got a new line of Masters of the Universe figures, which is going to include He-Man, Tila, Skeletor, and Battle Cat. Now as you can see, these aren't actually inspired by the vintage action figures. Uh, what you see up here on the wall is the way they're going to be packaged in the store. So they're in these little blister cards inside of larger kind of clamshell packages. But they're kind of their own thing. They sort of have the red brick motif of the vintage figures. But as you can see, they've got a uh, animated image of the character over on the left. The little micro figures themselves don't appear to be based on the vintage Mattel figures. They're sort of their own thing. Uh, when these were first announced, I was expecting them to be tiny replicas of the actual vintage Mattel figures, uh, but that definitely doesn't seem to be the case here. They're definitely kind of their own thing, but they still look like they're going to be a lot of fun. They're definitely a unique little novelty, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's a really fun idea for a toy line. They're also doing Power Rangers and G.I. Joe and Transformers and Ninja Turtles in this lineup. Uh, and the way these work is these little packages here are actually hard, uh, almost like cases for the figures. So I'm turning them around here so you can see the back, but you'll notice on the actual figures themselves, there's a little door. So you can open up the door to pull the figure out of it, but then the figure can go right back in. So that way these little hard blister cards work as a way to display your micro figures if you want to display them that way. So... Skeletor, He-Man, Tila, and the Battle Cat. The Battle Cat is my personal favorite. I think that looks really, really cool. It's also interesting to see how the armor seems to be a separate piece. Uh, they've got the loose figures displayed. He-Man's totally missing his armor. Looks like the helmet comes off of Battle Cat. Uh, you can see the G.I. Joe and Transformers there, too. Also, the paint deco seems to be early, I think, on the faces. But these are all set to hit stores later this year. Coverage of Toy Fair 2020 with Pixel Dan is brought to you by Megalopolis, City of Collectibles. Visit them online by following the link in the video description below. And be sure to follow Pixel Dan here on YouTube for the latest from Toy Fair 2020.